Hello, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. God bless every one of you today. Bishop Wooden here in my office getting ready for Bible study tonight. I hope that you are in the what, what we call the Christmas spirit. Not the holiday spirit, but the Christmas spirit. And I hope you're, you're making your plans to, uh, to see loved ones and family, uh, plans to, uh, to uh, be a blessing uh, to, to those on your Christmas list. And most importantly, I hope that you are keeping in mind that uh, the reason for the season is Jesus Christ. And as believers, you know, I know that we spend a lot of time talking about how the marketers are trying to avoid uh, the word Christmas and how uh, the world is trying to secularize uh, this, this, this holiday and, and this time of the year. But let me tell you, as we fight the good fight of faith to defend Christmas, do not lose your Christmas joy. As believers, as those of us who have been born again and washed in the blood of the Lamb, we have a right to enjoy this time of the year. We have the right, hallelujah, because we know Christ personally. As a matter, as a matter of fact, he's living in our hearts. So most, most certainly, we shouldn't be Scrooges and, 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 and a Grinch and be uh, angry and, and, uh, and melancholy. And, and, and allowing the world's misuse of this time of the year to rob us of our joy. Now listen, I enjoy this time of day, to be honest with you. I put my Christmas carols on and ride down the road, blasted the music, uh, enjoying myself. Uh, I eat too much during this time of the year, so uh, 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 and maybe I'm, I'm sure most of you do not. <laughs> but look, uh, we, we're going to exercise, we're going to eat, we're going to thank God that we're able to get food. And then after having acquired it, thank God that you have the health to eat it. You know, that's a blessing. That's, that's a double blessing. There are some people who are hungry and, uh, and they can't afford. And, uh, and then there are those who are rich and can, can afford everything, but their bodies won't allow them to eat. I want to say a big congratulations to the people of the upper room, our members, and to the members of North Carolina Third. I want you to know in the last few weeks with the gala, we raised almost $40,000 and sent out love gifts, checks in the mail. I, I'm getting so many texts back from people saying thank you, thank you, thank you, and, and nobody knows uh, who's getting the blessing, and, 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 and they've gotten blessed. Uh, this past weekend, uh, our supervisor, Mother Beverly DeJanae, my wife, Pamela, organized the, the uh, women's department of our church. Uh, Elder Wilson organized the, the elders uh, of the church and the men's department, and workers from all over the church came together, went down east, and delivered over, uh, delivered uh, uh, candy, toys, goodies, blessings. Uh, we served over a hundred families, touching people with the love of Christ. Uh, the church, we sent a, a love gift uh, just the first of the week to the Raleigh Rescue Mission. That work does, they do a tremendous work there. My point is the spirit of giving is alive and well here at the church. You may not see us on the news, you know, but uh, just because the news don't cover it doesn't mean that we don't do it. And I tell the congregation here, when you've made some things happen for others, you can really enjoy what God has allowed to happen for you. And in addition to all of that that I've said, guess what? We still have good old-fashioned Bible study tonight. Now, the forecast is for rain, so you know what, what I say about the rain. Make sure you turn your windshield wipers on. Leave on time. Drive careful. And let's come out to the house of the Lord and study the word of the Lord together. My friends, God is good to us. 
And I look forward to sharing the scripture with you tonight. I'm going to give an announcement concerning our upcoming New Year's Eve service and uh, what's happening there. And uh, we are releasing our, our, our announcements about it. And I'm excited. Uh, spread the word. We're praying for everybody. We're laying hands on everyone. And we're revealing the theme that God has given me for 2019. And I tell you, I want to tell you what it is. I want to I wanna tell it. Mm, it's on the tip. I want to tell it, but I can't. I got to hold it. So pray for me that I keep it under covers and keep it under wraps until the New Year's Eve service. And it doesn't slip out tonight in Bible study because there's a chance that it may. But I pray that it don't. Hey, I love you. I'll see you tonight. May God's choice blessings be yours.